Now, if you see, all the parking spots are here only, right? All the parking spots are here. Now, be it free or be it occupied. So, for example, first is already occupied in this list. And still we are returning the first one, right? Which means second again could be occupied. Which means if we want to find the free parking spot, we will have to iterate on this list. We'll have to iterate on this list, which brings our complexity again to order of n, right? It brings our complexity to order of n, right? This is one issue. How can we fix this issue? So what if we maintain two maps, one for occupied parking spots and one for free parking spots? What do you think about this? Will this optimize? So now what I'm thinking of doing is having two maps occupied and free. Occupied also has enum and list of uh, that type of parking spot. Free also has that enum and list of that parking spot. So now if entry for nearest first we want, we'll return this first parking spot in the list. We'll pop it off and we'll put it in the list of occupied, right? We can put it. Now, will this actually be order of one time entry? Yes, I feel this would be order of one time entry. So we now we need to add one more data member in our parking lot, which is here it's free. And the same thing could be occupied parking spot, right? So now this resolved our things in a far better way. Great. So nearest first and farthest first. So entry is sorted now. In order of one operation, entry is sorted. Great. Now, there's one more thing that happens in an entry. Figuring out which type of parking spot do we want, right? Because we'll have to check if this vehicle is motorbike, then we want to give it mini. If this vehicle is car, then we want to give it compact, which means we might have to use case statement inside it, right? If this vehicle is mean, uh, motorbike, then we might have to call find first strategy with mini parking spot. Else if this vehicle is car, find compact parking spot, right? So vehicle to spot mapping is not there, which will force us to use case statement again. Can we remove case statement here? I feel yes. How? So we, we want just the enum, right? And each and every vehicle has its different parking spot. If you see, we have different vehicle classes also. So in vehicle, what if we add supported parking spot enum as a data member? This would save us that case statement that we might have to make because going forward, let's say there's one more vehicle that is added. So we will have to change our entry function again, right? Which would violate open close principle. So what if we add our parking spot enum here in the vehicle, supported parking spot. And this will help this complete operation of finding the parking lot, assigning the ticket in order of one, right? So now we can update this from to one method, which is let's name it entry. What will it take? It will take vehicle and it will return a parking ticket. Great. So we're done with the entry now. Second, exit. So what will happen in exit? Two things would happen. First, we have to validate if this ticket belongs to correct vehicle, which can be validated because parking ticket already has uh, an instance of vehicle in it. Great, validation is done. Second, now one of the parking spot, because earlier we were having list of parking spots, right? Now we have two different maps containing occupied and free parking spots. So now if exit is happening, so one parking spot should be moved from occupied to free, right? This should be moved. Now, should it be put at the right place? Yes, it should be put at the right place. Why? Because if we put it in the beginning or if we put it at the end, that would not serve the function. That would not serve us. Uh, because we are storing parking spots in a sorted format on the basis of floor and ID of that parking spot, right? So we will have to put it at the right place. Now, how do we put it at the right place? So let's say this is the list of free parking spot and there's one more parking spot that needs to be added in this list. 
and it has to be put at the right place on the basis of floor and ID. Great. How will we do it? One thing is we can iterate over this list, right? And then put it at the right spot. This would be order of n operation. But I feel we can optimize it. Why? Because this is already a sorted list. We can use binary search on this. So first we can binary search on the basis of floor, which will reduce our array size and then we can put it at the right place, which would take log n time, which is far better than order of n, right? And if we can put it at the right place. So for exit validation is done. Payment can be easily done because we have payment service in place and putting the spot at the right place in the list is also done. And then we can call update on the display service, right? So exit, what will we get? We'll get a parking ticket and we will get a vehicle because we have to validate vehicle with the correct uh, parking ticket, right? So we'll get a vehicle. What can be the return type? Return type can be void and this should be good. So we are done with parking service also. Let's go over it once again. So what did we have? We firstly had a parking lot, which had a name, entrance panels, exit panels, display board, and all the parking spots. So now parking lot is composed of everything, entrance panel, exit panel, display board, and parking spot. And that's why we have a composition relationship here. Next, we saw the difference between having enumerations and abstract classes. Okay, we went ahead with abstract classes. Next, we see parking ticket and vehicle. Then we made admin and parking attendant. So now you see, we can talk about parking attendant now. So parking attendant, don't you think will have an instance of the service because a parking attendant is able to give parking ticket, right? And of course, take the money and accept payment and allow exit. So parking attendant will have an instance of the service that we have parking service. Great. Now parking attendant is also done. Lastly, we talked about the services that we have parking spot service, which allowed us to create parking spot because we wanted to avoid all many functions that we had for creating many parking spot, creating compact parking spot, creating a large parking spot, we came and we made a enum, right? Then we went ahead and see, saw display service, uh, which allowed us to use enum for updating the free spot count. Then we had payment service, which allowed us to accept cash and credit card. We had different payment method. Also, then we finally had parking service, which we have just discussed. Great. So let's move on to the sequence diagram now.